Chelsea Murray here with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior, and today we are going to work on teaching our dogs how to crawl forward using a food lure. A food lure is when I take a piece of food in front of my dog's nose and guide them using this piece of food. So the very first thing that we're going to do is grab some food, grab your clicker, and we're going to put the food in front of our dog's nose and make sure that we can use that food to help guide them from one place to another. Nice. Good job, buddy. All right, so we're just gonna put the food in front and he can smell it and lick on it, but he can't eat it. I slowly pull him forward. I click the motion after the food and then I release the treat to him. All right, so go ahead and do that a few times with your dog just to get them warmed up. After you have done that, we're ready to start working on crawl. Now, the most important thing before we begin is that we have a safe place to practice. I wanna make sure that your dogs have some traction underneath their feet. Uh, we don't want them slipping and sliding, so if you're working on somewhere that has hardwood floors, make sure that you lay down a rug, a runner, some mats, whatever you might have that's gonna give them a little bit more traction. We're gonna do exactly what we did before at the stand, but now we're gonna do it with them in a down. If your dog does not know how to lay down, you will start by taking the piece of food and lifting up. They will rock their hips back into a sit, click and treat. Then you're gonna take that food and drop it straight down to the ground. Good boy, to get them in and down. Then I'm gonna take the piece of food in front of his nose and slowly pull it forward. And you can see that he's reaching forward in order to get the food. And as he does that, we start to get a crawl from him. We want a really high rate of reinforcement, so I want to click and treat him frequently as he slithers forward. Nice, good job, buddy. I wanna make sure that butt stays down to the ground. Stand. Yeah. So if you're having problems with your dog wanting to lift their rear, you can simply put your hand over their back as a little bit of management so that as you pull them forward, if their butt wants to come up, it's gonna hit your arm, which is gonna encourage them to put it back down. All right, so we're just taking this food in front of their nose and slowly pulling them forward. And as they jump forward into the crawl, we click and release the treat. Now in the beginning, we, like I said, we wanna have a really high rate of reinforcement. So I'm gonna click and treat him often. As they start to get warmed up on the activity, we can start to ask them for a little bit more distance before they get that click and treat. All right, so get him set back up at the beginning. Nice, sit. <laughs> sit, thank you, down, good. So now what I'll start to do is as I pull this treat forward, I'm making him crawl a little bit further before he gets that click and treat. Oops, if they stand up, you're just gonna get them back into a down position. Good. So now I'm getting two little jumps from him before he gets that click. Down. Nice. So again, we're gonna do two little crawls. Nice, good boy, and two. Good, very nice, up. Now, we wanna get the food out of the picture as soon as possible because dogs paint a picture. So if I keep the food in the picture too long, then they're gonna need that food in order to do this behavior. So this next time I try it, I'm gonna do the same hand motion with my hand, but this time there's gonna be no food in it. He still earns the treat, but the treat doesn't come out until after the click. So we'll take that hand and we're gonna do that same motion. Yes, nice job. Click and treat. Oops, down. So again, food out of the luring hand. Nice, good. And one more time here. Good boy, very nice. All right, 
Now that I can get the behavior that I want without food, we can go ahead and put it on cue. If you want your dog to crawl a longer distance than just those two little jumps, keep working on building up that distance. So we went from one little crawl to two, to three, to four, to five, Whatever distance you want your dog to crawl, you're gonna slowly increase how many little steps they take between each click and treat. Good boy. Come here, Beth. When you're ready to put this on cue, yeah. Good. you're gonna give your verbal cue, then give your visual signal. So the visual signal is this hand motion that we've been doing. My verbal cue is gonna be crawl. So it looks something like this. Jude, crawl. Nice. Jude, crawl. Oops, down. Jude, crawl. Good boy, very nice. So as you're working with your dogs, this might take you several sessions. You wanna work in two to three minute time periods with play, potty, or sniff breaks in between. And as you can see, his heart rate's elevated. This is a lot of work for an older dog. So. Any dog that you're working with, make sure that you keep an eye on how they're feeling, whether or not they're enjoying it. If they seem like they're getting tired or disinterested, it's a good time to go ahead and take a break. All right, guys, go ahead, grab your mats if you need them, grab your rugs if you need them, your clicker, your treats, and let's go ahead and start luring how to crawl. If you want to get the behavior of crawl on a verbal cue only without needing any visual assistance, you will need to slowly fade out your visual cue. When you give your dog the verbal cue of crawl, pause for a moment. If your dog responds, click and treat. If they do not respond, give your visual signal. With each successful repetition, you will slowly minimize how obvious that hand signal is until eventually you give the cue crawl and your dog responds to the behavior appropriately. Be mindful as well about the body position that you are in when you teach. During the tutorial, I remained in a crouch the whole time. So my dog is painting a picture and me being in a crouch can become part of the cue. If you would like to be able to stand while you give this signal, I would work on a session where I slowly repeat the cue and click and treat the behavior from crawl to kneeling, to a crouch, to a half squat until eventually I'm standing. By slowly changing the picture or slowly changing how forward and tall I am, the more my dog will start to tune in to the verbal or visual signal versus the position of my body.